Good work. You're not dead. We're sending a shuttle for you now. But there's no time to rest. Your work is just beginning. Mother Gunship is a combination of nearly every modern gaming convention. It's a first-person shooter, RPG loot-collecting, procedural dungeon crawler with gunplay from Doom and the humor of Borderlands. There's replayability, gun customization, and a simple-to-understand objective. There she is, soldier. The heart of the Archivist fleet. That's the thing holding Earth hostage. That's our target. That's the Mother Gunship. If you've played The Binding of Isaac, you know what pain is, and I'm sorry, but you also understand the type of game Mother Gunship is. The campaign is made up of procedurally generated levels, or ships, each one holding several rooms you'll need to fight through in order to reach the ship's self-destruct button. Shoot all the enemies in a room, you can move on to the next one, unless you're a wamp. By making your way up to the Mother Gunship, you'll find intel on how to destroy it along the way. Just be careful what you bring back to the hub. Oh. Oh no! Oh dear. What's happening, Jasper? This is terrible. What did you bring back? That data core was compromised. I've been infected. Infected with what? Are those hollow ads? Quick, go touch one. I want a free vacation. You're a soldier for the Earth's resistance against the alien invasion, but even that much isn't explained. A man named simply the Colonel calls you his recruit and sends you on your way. Listen, recruit, you may not remember much, but... That's not really important to me. The biggest draw to Mother Gunship is that you can build your own guns. Enemies either drop gun parts or the currency required to buy gun parts in shops, and you can pretty much do whatever you want. There are two rules in crafting guns. The components you want to add must physically fit, and gun barrels must face forward. You can thank the insurance companies for that. You can triple jump, shoot up to two weapons at a time, triple jump, punch if you're unarmed, but most importantly, wait, no, hold on. No, yeah, you can triple jump. Yeah, hang it up, we're done here. Fights are fast, and the unprepared will be punished. You can only bring a certain amount of gun parts with you on a mission, and if you die, you lose everything you brought with you. If you forget to bring a connector that has a barrel port facing forward, you'll be stuck fighting enemies with a shotgun barrel just like an idiot. The dialogue is Borderlands funny at best, and your dad trying to be hip at parties at worst, but it's decent most of the time. Tell her you're delivering pizza. You're delivering pizza? Calm lines are compromised. She can hear us. Uh, yes, uh, uh, pizza. We're delivering pizza. The kind with pineapple on it. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Hey, elephant. The game is procedurally generated. We know what happened the last time a game did that. But here it's not so bad. Yeah, the story is sparse, so Wilkinson and the Colonel really only chime in between rooms on the main ship, so most side missions and challenge ships are silent and lonely. But I didn't really see much repeating between rooms in terms of level design or anything. I think the game has a couple quality of life issues by nature of the design. Every time you start a mission, you have to build a gun from scratch, forcing you to memorize which gun parts you want to bring along for each mission. Sometimes you bring a specialized barrel like a lightning rod and realize you've set yourself up to fail. Some rooms have no shops or health drops, leaving you trying to finish several rooms in a row on 1% health. And some challenge rooms give you weird challenges that stop the flow of the game, like not damaging any enemies for 40 seconds. Your reward? <coughs> hey look, a gun! That being said, Mother Gunship is a nice experience. With co-op and multiplayer coming down the road, it's a decent roguelike for the price. The developers have obviously taken a lot of time to polish the visuals and gunplay, but I wish they gave more thought to the randomness of the procedural generation. 